Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Hello and welcome to another session of our insight into different social issues. Today we are going to talk about freedom and the amount of this very, very important commodity that we enjoy today in our societies. Do we, due to many, many advancements in communication technology, enjoy more freedom of opinions and views today? We get lots and lots of live news and views every minute from around the world in hundreds of channels coming to us, coming to our homes. Do we really enjoy more freedom to choose our own opinions? We want to talk about freedom, fraudulent freedom or real freedom today. Our guests today are Lady Michelle Renouf, uh, a documentary filmmaker maker, especially in the field of advertisement, and Peter Rushton, a political commentator and webmaster. I would like to uh, just ask you to give us a little bit information about your own background, starting with you, Lady mm -hmm. Michelle Renouf. Well, Dr. Paul, I uh, have acted in television commercials mm -hmm. since childhood. Mm -hmm. So I see myself inadvertently as a propaganda tool okay. and I bring the information uh, that I have learnt really inadvertently in those uh, years to uh, my documentary making mm -hmm. on, uh, on the subject that I call twist speak mm -hmm. which is the reversing of the truth and very often on our news we see the reversing of the truth. Uh, my definition of twist speak would be the uh, cynical uh, inverting Mm -hmm. uh, of the culprit and the victim, for example. Um, nothing would be more plain than the calling Israel the victim and the Palestinians the culprit. That is a very uh, plain example of what I would call twist speak. Twist speak yes. uh, and it is also uh, there in our advertising because sometimes uh, a product will be packaged in a way that actually is quite deceptive, quite fraudulent. It's selling us an idea uh, that, that actually isn't in the product. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes this can be to our advantage because we like to buy a dream. On the other hand, it can sometimes be to our disadvantage and we don't know it. So it's fraudulent. Mm -hmm. So I, I apply this idea of persuasion and packaging to political and social ideas. Uh, and certainly I do think that we are sold quite without our knowledge in most cases because it's so subliminal and so cleverly packaged that we just don't know that we are being sold no freedom, uh, quite the reverse. We are so being sold a lot of tyrannical control and that's certainly mm -hmm. the case in social matters. Well, I'm sure with your long-standing experience in, in, in this field, in this industry, you are the right person to talk <laughs> to us about the issue. Sociology, I know you're a sociologist, you will be very interested, mm. that's why I'm enjoying to have Thank a chat you. with you today. <laughs> um, because, you know, it is fundamentally um, uh, relevant to, to, to uh, uh, political matters that we look at the social uh, concepts and we do have this terrible feminism, which was packaged uh, uh, in the way that democracy has been recently mispackaged to take us into this terrible uh, war in Iraq. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, uh, feminism has broken the family. It but has uh, dis dis destroyed uh, women's uh, uh, viability, really, and they have been more abused by feminism than ever before. But we are not um, given any uh, choice. We are being undermined in our own natural uh, appreciation for these things. And uh, feminism, unfortunately, uh, is very much the root of that because it's destroying our family unit. It is uh, undermining all the subtleties in between men and women that were enjoyable for both men and women. Mm -hmm. A man likes to do something that is appreciated by a woman. A woman likes to be appreciated in this way. These subtle differences. And there is also an eroding of uh, who is who and what is what. Um, the, the, the niceties that differentiate between you as a, as a, um, a, a new friend as opposed to an old friend, as opposed to a teacher, as opposed to um, what are the different relationships that we have. Mm. There are subtle, charming ways in which we differentiate 
those things. They are all being eroded now, mm. like the sexual difference is being eroded, which is perfectly absurd. Uh, we, we saw that in mm. the Marine, the young girl who was um, in those, uh, do you remember the Marines who were in the Iranian yes. waters? Mm -hmm. And uh, suddenly, instead of her being a, a combative Marine, she's suddenly a mother of a year and a half yes, child. That's right. Now, <laughs> either yeah. she is a mother, which she should be, because what greater role does she have in life? Um, suddenly she pleads, and the press plead. I don't know whether she pleaded herself, but certainly the press, the, the Zionist press, mm. pleaded for her as a mother that she should be released. Mm. Well, mm. you know, she shouldn't be there in the first place if she's not going to be a combative person. Mm. Um, and suddenly they're sailors. There's another mispackaging. Suddenly they're sailors, innocent people, mm. not Marines. Yes. You know, again, you see this. So is this is that type of twist to speak that you mm. are talking about. This is the twist speak, and this is the mispackaging, and this is the way in which um, we see it so often. But you, you only. I wish twist speak would become a household word, because mm. people need an, uh, um, a definition in order to recognize what is happening, and it's because we're not being given that um, the two sides. Uh, anymore that that you see women uh, dressed so badly in the West. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, uh, people criticize the the Islamic dress, um, but certainly the Islamic dress does much more for a woman than the Western um, dress now. Bec and uh, uh, and you will hear people say, "But we have much more choice." But you don't really, because the the newspapers and the magazines and the uh, te television commercials are pumping out these ideas, which have a way of enforcing. Mm -hmm. They are tyrannical. They appear to make one free, but actually, people feel that they must dress in this way in order to look cool or in order to look um, to be. Uh, to be free, but actually, it, it 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 actually in the way that women are dressing now, it is counterproductive in mm. every degree. Especially but they think it's free. Yeah, especially for women because they have to fashion and model themselves mm. according mm. what to men want to see them. Yes, in. and in this way they are generally titillating men, mm -hmm. uh, but and, and and serving men. Therefore, they do exactly. not empower themselves. Mm -hmm. There is another goddess around the corner that mm. is equally unclad. So, uh, you know, um, I would not like to see uh, women in Iran believing that they are lacking freedom when they cannot dress in the vulgar way that the women dress nowadays in the West. Mm. 